Hello. All right, let me turn that on for you. So, whoosh, top on, ladies, my name is Ken, and welcome to the cuss, or not cuss, welcome to what if, you know, Deku was the embodiment of sadness and brave. I know that's a weird combination. Because in this alternate timeline, you know that one guy where he is from the new anime called Undead Unlocked, where he has this one personality, and then if he like takes like something out of his head, he becomes a whole different person. I might just create it as spoilers, but that's okay. The, well, I decided to create a Zuku that mirrors it. So, like, the opposite. Instead of him being like, in what he is, more cheerful, he's... He has this, like, like, super scared look. Huh? And, yeah. But he turns into, like, yeah. So let's begin. And I'm also adding Zoomy, so, yeah. To, to basically... To keep it near the balance lens between the basically all the characters. So let's begin. Zuku and Zumi were born. The thing, and then at age of three. Both of them were her like had friends basically, and one of them is let me find mm, here her oh. ring oh. I don't know if I spelled her name right, so, yeah. So, one of them was her. In this alternate timeline, she falls in love with Deku. She has a deep love for him. Because the, yeah, I almost forgot that... In this alternate timeline, there's like these tier lists. There was three categories at before Zuku's birth. First was quirkless. They basically can't do anything. They can't even help everyone. Quirks. They can become heroes or whatever they choose and then the abilities one. Yeah. So then that's only with three. But they don't know the him. Yeah. So then Zuku no. Who and Zumi were went to who like the court doctor? Her. And of course, the quirk doctor tells Zumi that she has a quirk. Her. And she's all happy about it. Like, yay! And then 
He or the quirk doctor looks over at Zuku and tells him that he's quirkless. Oh man. So then but he can't do anything because he had super stressed Link. So he got abandoned. Basically Everybody was left, or actually his parents, his friends, or no, his parents doesn't even talk to him. They, he still lives in the same house, but they go take Zumi out instead of Zuku. But then, you know, so Zuku, who is more of the, hmm, him become a hero, so I'm... As he is, but this is going to be a startled part. So when he was, he couldn't handle the, his own, or actually, let's say his sister, Herm, was walking, or no, Let's say Zumi <clears throat> was walking home and Zuku was behind her. Not like. But then there was a bunch of gangs like thugs, like thieves kind, were about to whom ling. One of them grabs her purse, or her lunge, or her backpack. And Zumi cried. Zuku's his body, her name, Ling. And Zumi ran away. She ran home, but Zuku who's, was about to follow her. But he stops him huh, as his hair. Or grew. Or he. Yeah. His entire emotions. So he transforms into a. He bulks up. As he turns around. And he slaughters. All those poor villains. In a. Like. With his hand. Hence, he slaughtered them all. Their insides became outsides. That's how brutal Hodel. Yeah. And he says, You shouldn't have touched my sister's backpack. As he picks up the backpack and puts it in over his backpack. Like, and his hair got shorter back to normal. And he did had, or because how fast he was, he had no blood on him or on the backpack. So, the as he walks out, um, um. But his, but he gets noticed by, you guessed it, Chirigiri. And both, home oh, because Chirigiri knows what name, he could sense this kid has, or has more valuable than anything in the world. So he teleports back to all for, or he calls all for one. Hun. Hun. Or he teleports back to all for one. Tells him the whole report. As all for one is sitting there, grinning. 
and then because Shrakison and was like he he wasn't like got chosen by all for one hun to like be a vessel but instead he chose Zuku Midoriya to be his vessel so yeah because he could sense or actually yeah with everything else so yeah so when Zuko got home home and Zumi was crying in her bedroom as Inko and Asashi were ignoring him as he says huh well so he walks to Zumi's bedroom as she's still crying because she wasn't brave enough to battle against the those crazy lunatics but then the, yeah, of course, Zumi did tell her parents, but her parents didn't, or did care, but they, they don't know what the, what they look like or what. But Zuku walks in, or he knocks on a door, and Zumi, he was like, and come on in as he opens the door and hey sister and you want okay no but I lost my backpack I want, I want my backpack as he as she notices that he's carrying because he had a blue one on his back that's his and for Inko's, or no, for Zumi's was pink. So he had a pink backpack in his right hand. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Zuku, who says, here we go. Who? Yeah. At this moment, name. So, so he lives, or as he, his sister is like, because he has no memory of what just happened to those poor guys. <clears throat> he, as a bunch of detectives are like, who did would have done this and why? So Zuku. The next day, or like during the night, he was watching this horror movie. His stress level, as he can't matter how. The people are in like movies just randomly die. Him and Zuku ends up um, looking around, looking around. Er, he did go to bed, and the next morning he got up, he goes to school, <clears throat> the normal school, but he got stopped by. All for one in the dark alleyway. As all for one offered him a chance or offered him to join the crew uh, or join the villain league. 
and Zuku who was embarrassed. But he get he did get knocked out. And he and Zuk or as all for one says, you might see your bro or your sister. So Okay. As Zuku's is so all for one tells him the truth. As yeah, so he joins him, and he became like so the court doctor. Look, actually, in that what if, or in this what if is Toll tells Zuku that he was lying to him about him not having a quirk, actually. You have, you can, you actually do have a quirk. Her, of split motion. So, okay. Of sadness, or split motion of emotions. So, is that why I, or split motions of flame? So, because every time he feels like, if he gets too sad, like his body reacts, transforming him into a diff- whole different person. Yeah, and you know what Zuku has? Well, this is a court where her doctor tells Zuku's his. You actually do have a power of infinity and zero with it. So you're you were born with a you're a special kind of person. As his eyes widen, and because. Normally, the quirks, irks, they make, or basically if they had, like, if they chose to be pro-heroes, they get, like, three million dollars. And with a, abilities, is double that. So that makes it six million, but then... Plus Zuku's, Zuku's his body, as he says, because he has two types, and he also had a third type, because he's a special kind. He's quirkless. He has a quirk. He has the ability. So, yeah, basically, in his quirk list, he could bypass anyone with a quirks. So, so it makes him the most richest person in the entire galaxy, entire universe. Yeah. So then, Zuku ends up being like, okay. As he's still like sad. And or he's really depressed and sad. Because he wanted to be a hero instead of being a villain. But then yeah. So and Zuku, or as a court doctor, knows that the Zuku, it's a lot for him to take in. So he walks into a into a special design bedroom <clears throat> for him as he is having a panic moan. Um, like, basically, he's in the... His body... Can, 
honey. Or he's like, it's, he's basically having conflicts of, of him blaming himself. So he, so his very first mission was to go to, I keep going over to here. So so his very first mission with a plan thing was all for, or so it was a time skip to who? 15. So, yeah. So Zumi went to UA and she does all that stuff like and she even got one for all, so she has two quirks, so that makes it her the second most powerfulest person other than her brother. So yeah. Because the because Zuku has two abilities and one quirk. Or actually has two quirks, but We'll get into that later. So that makes... Yeah. When I say double... Yeah. So... The... So the day of USJ. They come in. And... And... As they were like doing their thing... I need to have a picture. And Rinko Hill did tell Zumi that the... I haven't seen your brother in a while, so... Is he doing okay? He... Well, I haven't seen my brother either. And the... It was Class A, Class B work together, so, yeah, so then the, yeah, basically they were like, or Zuku was waving, or, hey guys, as he says, and this is what he said, Zuku Yeah, hold on. Let's see how long I'm going to talk. Okay. So, as there's somebody down there, and Zumi and Rinko looks down, plus Bakugo said, or is is that Deku? Why is he here before us? Sorry, I took a left turn. Or wrong turn. Turn. So then... So then Mr. Azawa comes... Walks down. Or actually... He knows that something's up. So he, like... Um... Himself. But then... A portal opens up. Behind Zuku. As many villains walking out. Out. As, yeah. As everybody's like, the villain. So then Zuku, oh, who was like showed up at the as his kind heart? So it was similar to Canon, but the Zuku was the leader of the League of Villains, and so. But all of them are surprised about this. They could not believe that their friend. Zumi can't believe that her own brother was a villain. (sighs) 
So then the he, he's covering his face. He in tears. Don't hurt them too bad. Hmm. As he's his body as everybody's like, why is he in hearing up? As he walks over, or he looks over and he sees a frog girl and Zumi and the grapefruit kid. Hen and the grapefruit kid, they're all three of them were in the water. Zuku walks over her as they thought he was going to kill them. But instead, he says, and you might actually catch a cold holding in those water. There's, I'm gonna, or, as he had, or as Raw Girl and Zumi were surprised. As there was, as Zumi and Raw Girl and Grapefruit were got out of the water, and they're putting the towels over. He didn't, like, capture them. As he's all kind heart. As they're like, man, he, why are you doing this, brother? He, I want to see you, little sister. That's all I want. As his, as he looks with like, and my, him, I'm him. As they're more stunned. And why are you leaning these villains? So, <clears throat> so yeah, then the sports festival, but Zuku steps out, him. Or actually, he was in his bedroom, like after the whole USJ thing. Thing. And yeah, then the Zuku, who was in his or was in the bedroom, is having conflict as he kind of blames himself for choosing to be a villain. To or he really didn't choose to be a villain. He he got. Forced to become a villain. Oh, and as his sadness or his body now took control, and he became the one. He becomes that guy. As he comes around, um, um, as he. Azumi, or as or, 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 no, Kirigiri's like, ah, good morning. Huh. Good morning to you too, Kirigiri. The, who are these two? Oh. oh. Well, this one is Toga, Himago Toga. Crime, Hames. She committed a lot of crimes. And the other is Dobby. I mean. Hmm. You must be Todoroki's brother. I could s- sense. Hence it. As the guy. Literally right off the bat. Knew who, who Dobby was. Like straight up knew. 
as Dobby looks at him with surprise. You, you know my, you, or you know me? Yeah. Based off of the aura of the quirks. Yours is blue flames. Your brother is red flames. But there's also, I could sense ice quirk inside you, too. No. Oh. And your or and you Toga. Um you have a quirk of transformation, right? Yes. And how can you tell? As Kirigiri answers See, Zuku was born with a special quirk. Or special ability. This is his dark self. Or this is the zero. Or he consumes whom it's like you're meeting the all for one's true form. So yeah. Oh crap. So yeah, Zuku ends up um telling or actually Kirigiri or no Kirigiri is telling both of them that the he's more vicious or as he points to or as Kirigiri points to Zuku, he's more vicious than you ever think. Because actually, during the sports festival, Zuku came out to like, wants to, you know, like, walk around the city. But then the whole, like, Zuku versus Hero Killer Stain during the sports festival. So, as he shows up, as he absolutely, of course, yeah, turned Hero Killer Stain into a omelet. Basically, a omelet. Huh. Because his organs became outsides. Or insides became like outsides and, yeah. Yeah, he became a, yeah. So, no one actually knew what's going on. Why some of these people are dying from, like, getting their organs in, from the inside out. Like, basically, someone's pushing the, like, the outer shells, like, basically, skin and, and meat. In words, like basically a, yeah. And then it's like the Mortal Kombat. I said combat. The I keep saying combat. So, yeah. So Zuku. So yeah, let's see how much time did I waste. Oh, yeah. Please wait for part two to be filmed. So, yeah. And it's pretty dark for this storyline. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this what if. and uh, Or enjoy the part two. Who after this one. So, go check it out. Peace out, y'all.